we were in a very, very uh, tough conference. Uh, I thought our team played very well. We went down and played Texas and had a chance to win with uh, a minute or so to go in the game. Against at that time was the strength the number one team in the country. And the game we didn't play well, obviously, was Texas Tech. And then later came back against Oklahoma here and had a chance late in the game. Uh, and all we ask is our players uh, put themselves in position to get us a chance to win the fourth quarter. And there's no question we can build on that. Uh, at times, uh, people get uh, sidetracked on uh, what a special season our players had last year to stay ranked in the top 15 of the country six, seven, eight weeks, or however many weeks it was in a row, uh, was uh, a very good accomplishment for them. So we're very proud of our team. Well, we're, uh, we're uh, excited about our group coming back on offense. We feel like that uh, Zach and Kendall, Dez, Russell Okun at tackle, uh, those guys can make plays. But I'm really excited about our defense. Uh, Derek Burton and Hugo Chinasa. Pat Levine, Parrish Cox, Terrence Anderson, some of the guys that have been around here that haven't had the same numbers statistically as our offense has, uh, but had a really great spring. So I'm excited about Coach Young, our new defensive coordinator, the staff, how they've worked, how they've worked together this spring, and our defensive players have bought into the system. Well, I think the players have adapted to it really well. There's more simplicity in this scheme than we've had in the last uh, two coordinators that have been here. Uh, obviously, Coach Beckman left to be a head coach at Toledo, and so we had to replace him. And Coach Young's come in here, and he has a lot of experience in this league. He's been around a long time, he's coached a lot of football, and I think it's been really good for our players because uh, they understand his philosophy, and uh, I'm very confident in it. So, as I said, I look forward to our defense playing very well this fall. We want to continue to be a great leader for our team. Uh, I think the offense and, and our team in general has rallied around Zach. Uh, statistically, he's not up there with some of the guys in this league because we don't throw as many passes. Uh, but productivity, he's been very good. Uh, his best game he played last year was against Oklahoma and we lost. But he played very well in that game. So uh, we expect him to be a great leader for us throughout the summer. And uh, when we start fall camp, it's nice to have a veteran player at the quarterback position that the other players will look up to. Well, he takes care of the football, makes good decisions. Uh, several times on third and five, third and six, third and seven, he'll pull the ball down and run and convert. And those numbers don't actually show up in his quarterback rating. So in our opinion, he gets a higher rating in those areas. He's been a terrific leader for us and been very productive. Well, we're excited about having eight home games, that's for sure. Now, uh, we do play a difficult schedule. I think we play eight bowl teams this upcoming season. So uh, we're going to play some quality opponents, but we have here the last three years. Uh, two years ago our schedule was top five in the country. Last year we ended up at least top ten in the country. Uh, so I don't think there's any question that, uh, that we're not shying away from playing quality opponents. And this year we opened with Georgia. Uh, Georgia lost a few players on offense to the draft, but they're still going to be very good. And they've always had a sound running game uh, and defensive players that can really run fast and tackle. So uh, we'll have a great schedule. Uh, you know, I know our fans and the, and the team and our coaching staff is look, looking forward to getting started here in August.